and that I always would be. And then I saw her. You're the one, the one I've been looking for. So what's your name? Anything you want it to be. What's yours? I'm David. Oh, fuck me. Really? You know what? I am so in the wrong dream. Yeah, I'm uh, actually the, uh, supposed to be meeting a... Hey! Are you Jeff? school what comes to mind first love the prom for me it was netflix you know saturday nights just me and my laptop annie hall harold and maude you know any of those unconventional love stories you know those those were always my favorite oh eternal sunshine of the spotless mind god it's movies like that you know films that inspired me to move to la and write movies of my own so here I am, years later. I still haven't written any actual movies, but I've written treatments, which are mini scripts, and I have a lot of ideas, a lot of notes. <laughs> this one's uh, this one's about cat. <laughs> start. But I'm not telling this story right, and good story structure is essential. My life pre-cat was quieter. I storyboard for a living, drawing pictures for other people's films instead of my own. Don't tell us about you. It's the worst thing you can do as a writer. Save that shit for Facebook. You gotta be original. Not another time travel story. I mean, do time travel. But like the inventor is this real feminist, right? Wait, yeah, yeah, wait, and, and wait. The only way she can get back to her own time is to team up with a sexist guy. Oh, right, right, romantic, edgy. Right, the, uh, the sexist, he, uh, rapes her. And then he's like, uh, she kind of likes it. So is it really rape? We don't know. Oh, my God. This is exactly what Robert Mackey talks about. I finally get it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I just, I feel like Helen Keller. And you just taught me what water is. Okay. Who's next? David. 
You had a treatment you wanted to show us. Um, it's it's not uh, it's not quite finished. Aww. David. Dude, dude, show us something. David, do it. It'll make you cry like a little girl, but it's worth it. Next time, for sure. Like, definitely. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, Sarah. All right, you had a reality TV mm -hmm. zombie, zombie pitch. bitch. Ah, <laughs> yes, okay. Right. Okay, check this out. Scared alive. You got scared straight, right? This time we put those juvenile delinquents in jail with real cannibals. Get out. Don't question it, though. Nicole, my best friend and the biggest crush of my life. I even based the female lead of my new script on her. <laughs> You're being nice so out of my league. But I made myself useful to Nicole. Listened to her, helped her with her dialogue. I thought, if you help someone enough, eventually they kind of have to love you. <laughs> the signs were there. I finally invited Nicole over to my apartment. It was time. the best and mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want anything to ever come between us but I've been I've been thinking about this for like a long long time and it's okay I know <laughs> you're gay and it's so okay with no you. god no. no no why would you even oh my say that god That's... I'm 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 I just thought you were building up to it it just kind of made sense oh this okay, sucks so this embarrassed sucks. um all right let it go just forget it gone what were you gonna tell me? Oh no, this is really awkward now. No, 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 just, just, just tell me. I, I won't say anything, I promise. No! Whoa, Whoa. wait. Hmm, that went well. I didn't... Breakups are so painful, especially the relationships that haven't even started. Hey, Nicole, uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what happened last night, um, but can we, can we talk? Uh, I'm around all day, so I'm so sorry. I started hitting the bottle pretty heavily. Voicemail, big surprise. Wow, I really thought you were different than this. Um, you know what, call me, don't. Okay, Nicole, uh, you know what? Our friendship ending is, uh, is, is the best thing that has ever happened because um, because I, I need to focus on my work, okay? And, and uh, I admit it, I have some issues when I feel ignored. I couldn't believe finding someone had always been this hard. What about all those primitive tribal cultures? I have left the peace with my lord so near, leaning on the everlasting arm. A lot of them had arranged marriages. I could perfectly see the wisdom in that. Commit first, then find the way to make it work. There had to be some way to do that. Skip dating, go straight to mating. And then I had an inspiration. Let's get married. Let's seriously just do it. A Craigslist ad like none before it. David. David. David, I read your marriage ad. 50 years old, Croatian woman. I have a huge immigration problem. I wouldn't mind getting married soon, if possible. Yeah, I'll marry you. And you'll detail my car, you little bitch. I am fucking pathetic. Yeah.
idea when your life is about to change. You know, there's there's no music cue, there's no voiceover, like, in a world where David's life is about to totally change. <laughs> it just happens. For better or for worse. Douchebag. Come Ride my sucking like a Harley. bitch. Fucking ugly. Oh, <laughs> you being funny again? Is that your way of being funny? Because you know I like it when you make me laugh. Yeah, yeah, you can make a spin. Go on me. Where you going? Oh, Jesus. Oh, where, you, where you going? Oh, shit. <laughs> what? No, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Whoa. Seriously, go. No, I'm not getting involved with it. You're already involved. Go. You little fucker. You little asshole. You want to see me hulk up on you? I will hulk up on you. Ah! Seriously? Ah! Of course. Ah! Oh, God damn it. I almost pissed myself. Is he still following us? Oh, he's gone. Chill. Who was that guy? Just another asshole. My feet hurt so bad. Jesus Christ, they smell bad too. Should have took a shower at assholes when I had the chance. Well, um. I guess I'll, I'll take you home? Um, uh, I don't really have a home right now. Uh, that's, that's hard, I'm sorry. Yeah, sucks. What about your family? Can they, they help you out? <laughs> My dad sits in his chair and drinks his life away. And my stepmom is a born again witch. Fuck, he's such a bitch. Fuck him. Seriously, fuck him. TMI? <laughs> it may, it may be a little. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. I'm Kat. Hey, uh, David. Me. Oh, shit. My car is overheating. It's... Jesus Christ. I have to pull over. You piece of shit. No, pull over the car, trick. No, no, I'm serious. Sometimes I even have to, like, pull over a couple times just to get home. This can take a while. I, like, if you don't want to wait, you can... I'm good. Got anything to eat? You want a hand job? 20 bucks. So worth it. No, I'm 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 good. Thanks. Yeah, you know, I don't offer everyone. But you seem nice and clean. Yeah, I I showered today, you know, shampooed, conditioned, really went for it. <laughs> You know, I don't think I'm actually gonna make that movie tonight, uh, so maybe, you know, maybe a few bucks would help. I suppose you have a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nicole. <laughs> we, uh, we live together. You're not. From LA, are you? No, uh, from a little white trash town in Wisconsin. <laughs> a little white trash town in Idaho. I'm 
I'm sorry. I lied about Nicole. We're just we're friends. So you don't have a girlfriend? You want one? Wait, what? What? Someone to come home to? You take care of Mimi? I'll take care of you. Yeah. I mean, you can say that to any guy right now. I don't trust guys. I do you. You gave me half your skills. You know, I can't just take you home, you know? How do I know I can trust you? You can. <laughs> you know you can. <laughs> you know, just meet some women and bring them home to live with you. I mean, who does that? You like me. You want to help. You want to say yes, but you're afraid. If you say yes, I swear I won't do anything to hurt you. I, I have a really small apartment. Just do it. Let's go home. Okay, yeah. You know what? Let's, um, let's go home. smells in here. Oh, uh, the garbage chute's right next to the kitchen, but they take the trash out on Monday and that helps, so. Here. Let me give you the tour. Uh, TV's here. Uh, there's DVDs there. If you watch one, though, try and put it back. They're kind of organized. Uh, not very many seating options. You could be at whatever seat I'm not. You draw? Yeah, um, storyboards. Um, so a director will have ideas of how they want to shoot their movies, and I'll draw the pictures of how it'll look. That's cool. It's, it's okay. Actually, over here, this this is my real passion. This is this will be my first screenplay, feature film. It's a big deal. Um, the, uh, it's my it's my note system. I do uh, recycling in the kitchen. Oh, God, we should have stopped and got groceries. It's okay, I'm tired. I just want to use the bathroom and go to bed. Uh, I'm kind of an eco guy. You know, reduce, reuse. I think it's really wasteful to flush all the time. Have you ever heard, uh, if it's yellow, let it mellow, and if it's brown, flush it down. Don't flush. I didn't flush. So I'm worn out. I'll just shower in the morning. I'm so glad you came, Kat. It was the right decision, you know? Bringing you home. 
I'm glad too. I'm just really tired now from being homeless. Yeah. Text a picture of her to Nicole right now. This is awesome. Now I know where to find all the good chink food. We'll work on the ethnic sensitivity. It's all good. So you were telling me before about the, the guy that left you? Mm hmm Sean. We came here together from Idaho. So I talked about a whole band thing. I sing a little. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. So I woke up one morning and it's like, where's Sean? Just gone and they didn't leave you with any 50 bucks the motel costs more you must really hate him i didn't say that i mean you don't even know sean yeah you're right i'm sorry maybe he was scared you know it's not good at being close to people so what did you do then Moved in with a friend, only person I knew in L.A. Like an idiot, I fucked her boyfriend. <laughs> Oops. It's not my fault, she couldn't keep him satisfied, you know? All right, your turn. What? I told you my shit, tell me something embarrassing about you. I, I don't know, I can't think of anything. Come on, there's no special guy you ever went down on. What? Where does this come from? I don't buy it. How can you say that? Global warming is fucking stupid. Last year in Idaho is fucking freezing. No, temperatures are rising, okay? That's science. It's not, it's not debatable. <laughs> oh, sweet. There's like five or six bucks in here, for sure. Give it back to him. No way, he's just gonna drink it all away anyways. Well, give it to me. Give it to me or I'm not taking you back home. You know homeless guys just steal from me all the time. Give it back to him. Everything is such a big deal with you all the time. You're stealing from a homeless person. By now, my contractions were three minutes apart. Or... <laughs> yeah, I, I thought about saying goodbye and just getting the hell out. But then I thought about going back to that tiny apartment, that tiny life, and I couldn't do it. Somehow, I had to make it work. Then Kat started sharing again. Her messed up childhood, getting molested by someone named Dick Outhouse. Like the most obscene, fucked up country song ever. Oh God, and her stories but, from know, the street. I did some shit, you know, but I never like ate out of the garbage or anything. I met people like, like this old couple let me sleep in their garage and <laughs> I woke up one night and Sweet old grandpa is trying to finger me. I was like, really? Wow, Viagra fucking works, let me tell you. Yeah, you know, I think we should um, probably head home. I'm just, I'm not feeling great. Dude, he's talking shit about me. You brought a homeless person back to live with you. How fucked up is that?
let me? I think I could help you. No, no, no way, no way. I cannot stand cigarettes. No cigarettes. I smoke. What do you want me to do? Oh, hey, Marcus. Hey, what's up, dude? Not much. Uh, this is my girlfriend, Kat. You have a girlfriend? Yeah, why wouldn't I? No reason, man. How you doing, Kat? I'm great. <laughs> Your hair is amazing. I love black guys' hair. It's so thick. Sean's hair is super thick. Wow. <laughs> I could just drop ecstasy and do this all night. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, I got a party to throw, though. Um, you two should both come by later. Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe. You know, we got a lot of stuff to do. No worries. Um, all right. Nice to meet you, Kat. Mm. Later, bro. Why can't we go? Because we're still getting to know each other. We should be hanging. All right? Us. You're staring at my boobs. God, no. Yes, you are. All the time. You want them? Seem really, really quiet. It's okay. Just do whatever you want. <laughs> well, I think we should do this another time. You know, when you're a little more into it. Shit, dude, I gotta drop her before she pukes again. She came to my party and she said you were tired. She's your girl, so I let her in. Oh, God damn it, you fucked her. Oh, man, what? she was totally into your hands. Dude, are you crazy? I didn't touch her, I swear to God. But, bro, she's wild. Okay, a lot of the fellas were there, they were hanging and they were drinking. I'm just saying. We need to put a leash on her. We went over this, um, found this plastic bottle in the trash when it's clearly recyclable. Don't you get it? We, we are destroying the earth, okay? You know, in 50 years, there won't, there won't be any, any polar bears because the, the, there won't be any ice for the polar bears to float on and have their little polar bear parties, all right? Do you understand this? Is that okay with you? So, I killed the polar bears with the plastic? Let's make more of an effort, all right? I do, I do a lot for you. You get something out of it, too. I need an aspirin and a Red Bull. <sighs> you even know how you got home? Marcus carried you after you snuck out. You were sleeping. I just wanted to have some fun. 
Nothing happened. You don't even know what happened. You, you might have even been gang raped. Does that even bother you? God, just get some aspirin. Get it yourself. She wants to play? Yeah, let's play, cat. Yeah, hell yeah, let's, let's have some fun. I have some new rules. From now on, you are not allowed leaving here unless I go with you. And if I go out, you go with me. <laughs> that would make me like a prisoner. Well, that's a bad attitude. Grounding me? <laughs> so gonna fuck with him. She's not gonna fuck with me. At least not the way she thinks. I said we could have sex. What more does he want? Intimacy, affection, you know, some flowers would be nice. <sighs> Unless he hits me, I'm not leaving. Unless she hits me, we're sticking this out. I'm gonna make his life hell. I'm gonna watch him squirm like a bug and then squash him. I don't see how anything could go wrong with this. Um, is there any way you could stop pacing? Okay, uh, it's, it's challenging, all right, but we can make this work. Hmm, I can't watch TV because you can't focus. What am I supposed to do all day? Read, all right, go online. You're lucky to spend your time like that. Hmm, I feel lucky. <laughs> Just like my mom, the glasses always have empty. Is this her? Yeah. Just the two of you? Yeah, my mom and dad never got married. Bastard, huh? And if you can refer to me as that, awesome. I'm an only child, too. My mom died when I was little. Dad told me stuff, but I don't really remember him. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be a mom someday. Really? What, I'm not the type? Oh, I didn't say that. Girls who give hand jobs might make the best moms. God! Okay, I'm sorry. Sean would be the guy I'd have kids with. Guess he had other plans. You're pacing. I want to take you home right now and God make love to you. I want to. so that we have to settle down and get married. Hey, that's, that's my short film. Is that what this is? Yeah, I, I wrote it and I, I took it to festivals all around the country. What do you think? Pretty trippy. Yeah, it's, it's surreal. It's like funny. You know, actually the script I'm writing is the uh, feature version of the short. Oh, so you'd make a whole movie about people on their first date? Yeah, you know, it's uh, the high hopes, the anxieties. Yeah, who wants to watch people eat dinner for two hours? Kind of retarded. Wow, <laughs> you just revealed your total ignorance of independent film. You know, smart people like to watch things more than blowing up. <sighs> Whatever, I'm just trying to find something to do while I'm all locked inside. You know, I have so many great ideas for this film, and that's that's what I'm working on when I'm writing. I never see you writing. You're just moving little notes around. No, I, I'm preparing to write, okay? You know what? Forget it. You know what? This script, this is like my shot, okay? You don't know how hard it's been for me, but I, I wrote a, a 217-page treatment speculating on a new Star Wars trilogy. And you know what? An agent threw it at me, and it hit me in the groin. I don't know what I was thinking bringing you home. We have nothing in common. Zero. Zero. 
I think you can help with the dishes for once. You're the one that got most of them dirty. You're pacing. This is the storyboard I was working on. It was a, a slasher film, which is perfect because when I was drawing it, I was like, she's gonna kill me in my sleep. <laughs> December, you want to tell me again how you don't believe in climate change? So, <laughs> I need to go out. I need to go out. I need to go out. If you're quiet, all right, maybe later I'll get you some ice cream. <laughs> I'm so sick of this. You are going to fuck me. That's the only reason you keep me around. I told you. Fine. Just do me with your tiny dick. Because I saw it coming out of the shower. Well, <laughs> oh my God, I've seen lots of them. But yours is like, oh my God. The smallest! So what? Where? On the bed? On your fucking nose? Just get it over with! What did you do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I just, I don't know what to do with you. Sometimes, I, I really, I, re I want you here. But sometimes I, I can't I can't handle you. Um, let let's just um forget about this, okay? Yeah, that'll that'll be easy. We should get out. It's like cabin fever in here. We could go to the beach, cool off. In my car, <laughs> would never make. Is there a pool around here? Still adjusting to the water. Take it, bitch. Don't. Oh, okay. All right. All right. You sure you want to do this? Great. No, no. Truce. Truce. No Come on. I will drown you. I will drown you right through. Right here. Ah! Wait. 
skin from his back. It's okay. You were on the streets for months. It was more than just hand jobs for you, right? It was. We used a condom and I got STD checks that day. They came with all the time. Dad. Hey, I mean, you did what you had to do. I just only, I really need to know. If you don't tell me, I'm just gonna awfulize this and I'm gonna think the worst. It was mostly hand jobs. Quick, didn't have to get naked. And you, um, you blue guys, you know, that must have happened. I could totally lie. You would have no way of knowing. And, uh, what else? You must have slept with guys, huh? Oh, well, yeah, for a while I wanted to be a hooker. Beat the hell out of being homeless. That was before the rape. This one asshole got me alone and hit me really hard. He said he'd beat the shit out of me unless I fucked him, so I did. That's rape, right? Except, like, I was on top doing him, but... It's not like I wanted to. After I told him I had AIDS and ran. Cocksucker. There was the one dude who masturbated while I made out with his girlfriend. Okay, Jesus. I get it. Okay. I'm a dirty whore. Just say whatever shit you're thinking. Do you want me to leave? When I was 18, I got this job at a trendy restaurant. And uh, one night, this older guy was hitting on me. He was telling me that he was meeting this big TV producer for breakfast. And if that I went with him, he would introduce me and maybe get me an internship. I would do anything to get into the industry. We go back to his house, and um, he keeps pouring me drink after drink. He starts playing these mind games. Like, because I didn't know my dad, am I afraid of male affection? And uh, what's the difference between job and a male blowjob. But I wouldn't let him touch me. And he said, um, don't you think you owe me something? And then he took my hand and he put it on his thing. And I didn't, I didn't jerk him. He moved my hand. And, uh, you get it. Here's the thing, when all that happened, I had a place to sleep, I had plenty to eat, I wasn't on the street all alone. We should get some sleep. It's not a big deal, what you did. You're right. It's 
no big deal. It's a Wonderful Life tonight, or, uh, you know, I have the, uh, 51, 1951 version of, uh, Christmas Carol with Alistair Sim. Oh, my God, I love that one. <laughs> Can we get a tree when we're out? No way. Christmas trees are, are completely wrong, all right? They, they, they cut millions of them down for nothing, Okay, right? a plastic tree. You have a job thing on Christmas Eve day. I know, uh, but I gotta meet this director. They got rid of their storyboard artist, and I could really <laughs> use the aid. You ready for the, uh, the road trip? All packed. Christmas tequila. Can't you go anywhere without drinking? Uh, yeah, when I'm stoned. Just wait for you one time. Maybe in the new year. Just, I really want you with me. I understand this is a business meeting, right? You, you can't come in there with me. I'll just wait in the car like your dog. Oh, grab the window for me. Hey, Sarah, if Craig's not here in five, I'll personally kiss on his face. Jamie, hey, uh, how are you? I'm great. It's good to see you, David. Thanks for meeting me here. I'm getting ready for some test shoots after the holiday. Uh, am I interviewing with you? I am the director. I saw your name up for the storyboarding job, and I wanted to surprise you. Well, I am surprised. Let's just put it out there. I was an asshole to you after our thing. You were slow in getting back to me, in that you never did. Truth is, I was so drunk that night. I dimly remember a tiny apartment you had then with the smell from the garbage chute. <laughs> <laughs> it would make me feel so much better if I could do something for you. I saw your car when you pulled up, so I'm guessing you could use the work. Yeah. Wow, huh? So you're directing a feature film now. UTA went batshit for my script, so I attach myself as director. They keep saying I'm the next Lena Dunham. <laughs> Let me see your drawing. Everyone uses software now to storyboard, but you still draw by hand. That is so cute. Your drawings are good. You ever thought of making this your career? No. No, I mean, I'd, I'd like drawing, but I live for writing. David, have you even written a screenplay yet? It's just, in our writer's group, you never had anything to show. I'm outlining a feature right now, okay? And I am that much closer to writing it every day. All right. 
whatever you say. But as a friend, if you're that afraid to write, move on now. Don't waste the next 20 years of your life. <laughs> I gotta go. I have a lot of Christmas stuff. I'm only trying to help. Hey, you can still do my storyboards. I hated your writing, all right? If, if, you, if you won an award, it'd be the crappy. Seriously, if he read her script, Billy Wilder would just puke. God, pick up the shattered pieces of your life and move on. Why are you so pissed? You know, you have been in a bad mood since we left. And now my car is overheating again. God, why does Christmas always suck? What do you think? Should we um, put the lights on it, or do you think that would cause like a fire? Okay. Now I helped you, even though it totally scratched up my arms. You want to give me like the best Christmas gift ever? What? Let me go out alone tonight. Seriously? I have a friend. I just want to hang out with him. With him? He's a dealer, okay? I just want to chill and smoke some weed. That's it. It's a Christmas Eve. I need to get out by myself for once, okay? I'm upset. Wait, you want to leave me alone on Christmas Eve? Please let me out. Please let me out. Why are you so upset? When I've been on Facebook, I've been trying to reach Sean. In my head, I'm always like, he doesn't know where I am. If he knew, he would come looking for me. And I messaged him a bunch of times, and today he wrote back, and he said, don't try to find me again, ever. Like, I'm a crazy stalker. I mean, he's the crazy one. Sean is the one that left you. God, he is the reason you are on the street. I knew you wouldn't be supportive. Supportive? I've been feeding you. I've given you clothes. Oh, keeping me inside like your pet? What did you expect, huh? You wanted Sean to just, just come in here and, and sweep you away? Tell me! I love Sean, okay? I'm always gonna love him! Do you even like me? Or, um... Just all pretend so you can stay here. somewhere.
a California Christmas and there's no snow and there's no one left to play. California dreaming, California living, California price to pay. Hey, That's David. This is Armstrong. Yo, hey, man, you want some knob? I mean, it's old, but I think it's still good. No? <laughs> Cat likes the spliff, but I got other shit, man. You'll take that in the back room, man. She gonna be staying a while. You know, baby, my friend's gonna be so glad to see you. We're gonna make us a little extra this holiday, you know what I'm saying? Ho, ho, ho. Hey, Kat, can I talk to you for a second? Is he gonna be your pimp, Cat? Don't pretend like you care now. I can't believe you're gonna do this. Yeah, make money, get my own place. Oh, you think he'll let that happen? I'll get a place. I'm not taking any more shit from every asshole with a dick. Oh, yeah, because prostitution is so feminist. Ugh, such a prick. You know what? Just for the record, this isn't my fault, okay? You had options. You could have gone and lived with your family. You could have gone to the YWCA. <laughs> I am not responsible for you anymore. I okay? don't want you to be. That's right. You'll be okay, honey. Ever see the movie Crash? Not the everyone's a racist movie, but the David Cronenberg's Crash. It's where people, they drive around and they get into car accidents just for the sexual pleasure of it. My attraction to Cat, I was sometimes like that. You know, anticipating the jolt or waiting for the pain, the adrenaline. It was very exciting. If it doesn't kill you. Stinky, huh? <laughs> Maybe we should get in the tub. Huh? <laughs> That'd take me a week. <laughs> I came back for you, okay? You don't have to do this. All right, come on. You want to go, yes or no? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hey. She's changed her mind, all right? She, she, she's going to go. Okay, you going to leave me alone with all this fine-ass weed? Is that it? Um, thanks for getting me ripped. I just changed my mind. What? Hey, no! Trump, Jesus, Jesus, fuck, please! Don't you no! Know, bitch. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry, okay? No! Fucking out of here. No! No, all right? I can't leave without her, okay? I can't and I won't. Please. 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 Okay. 
Make me an offer. Come on, motherfucker. How much you want to pay for? How much? Um. Oh. oh um. My mom, she, she gave me this new, like, all this money, right, for, for new tires, because my, my, my brakes just went, they, and then I come out off the road, uh, I've got about $341, all right, but this is, this is all, this is all I have. My man, so, yo, I hope she's worth it. Down the Christmas stuff. <laughs> so I'm done with Christmas. I had a spare key, Nick. I don't know what you're gonna do out there. But whatever it is, I want you to come back here after. This is your home now, too. I put my script away, it's done. I'll, I'll draw when I have to, but mostly, I just want to take care of you. I'm so good at this. <laughs> it just—it it feels like, um, oh god, like I'm in a giant straw. You know, one of the ones with the like the loops, and I'm just—I'm getting—I'm getting sucked through it. Actually, it's freaking me out. short film again. Really? Mm-hmm. Why did you put that stuff in there about her getting pregnant and getting married? It, it was just kind of funny. No. That's it? Uh, well, uh, well, there's, there's me not knowing my dad. No. I would never do that. I would never get someone pregnant and then just walk away. It's like this, you know, this feeling. If I ever got someone pregnant, we would, we'd be like, uh, we'd be like joined, right? And, and we'd be together forever and we couldn't even get away from each other even if we tried. It's not. It's, it's a fantasy. Okay, I have a baby thing. I totally do like when I'm around them. I'm just kind of happy. When people want me hold theirs, I get so pissed. <laughs> 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 I know zero about them. They're just kind of cuddly. Oh, and I love baby booties. <laughs> uh, seriously, it's like a fetish or something. Have I, 
ever told you about Tristan and Isolde? It's a really old story. And they go into this, this cave of lovers. It's just them. They don't have anything else. They want to go away from I like a cave in here. I've been on the water and roads, every mountain, every valley, every coast, but nothing ever got a grip on my heart. There's never that comforting glow, like arms wrapped around your soul. Me and my home shall never part. This is like my first real Valentine's. No boyfriend even got me a card. Really? Wow. I always got one card on Valentine's from my mother, <laughs> which for the record is way worse than getting none. <laughs> Actually, it seems like an appropriate time. Oh my God, are you serious? There were so many I liked for you. I know it seems a little environmentally extravagant. You're worth it. Okay, you know how you were really pissed at me on Christmas Eve and you're wrong. Say you even like me. <laughs> That's not how I sound. <laughs> your laugh, like a little boy's. <laughs> I like how safe you make me feel. I like that you trembled the first time we had sex. Don't stop, those aren't even the best ones. I'm just trying to describe how I feel. Uh, my grandma had Alzheimer's. She would jump around a lot in her mind. Like sometimes she'd be really young and have her two little daughters. It was really sad. But it was also kind of poetic. Because right before she died, she was going back to her happiest moments. When I'm old and tired, I want to come back to this place. Is, sh should we just do it?
Roger now? Hmm. I was already going to be working by right now. You know what I do at my old job when I overslept? Blow it off. <laughs> the cocktail hours started moving up. 4 p.m., 2.30. I remember the first day we had margaritas for breakfast. We drank and watched Leaving Las Vegas. I'm not even sure we got the irony. And the challenge was coming up with things to do. You know in plays like Uncle Vanya, Chekhov was always stressing the importance of keeping busy. I wonder if he had a binge and purge phase too. This was a good day. <laughs> Shit, so much we should have seen coming. Shit, it's April 1st, rent. You think our landlord will accept payment in tequila? Um, I'm pregnant. Oh, <laughs> April Fool's, dude, you totally nailed me. It's not shocking. We haven't used a condom in a while. Now we really can't get away from each other, huh? So, oh, do we get married now? What do you think? There. Are you slowing down? You know, we should talk about you maybe getting a job. <laughs> I can't work. Hello, having a baby. Yeah, well, you know, in the olden days, women used to just like they'd plow the fields until the baby would just drop out. Well, that was retarded. can't be drinking while you're pregnant, right? Once in a while isn't bad. Uh, says who? Like that show you had me watch? Mad Men? Yeah. Pregnant moms, drinking, smoking. Baby still got born. Cashier, telemarketing. We'll find something for you, honey. I don't feel up to it. Walmart greeter. Hey, how much do you think an exterminator makes? Security guard. Sweet, you'd get a taser. <laughs> hey, guess what? Script's back on. I think I was just tired before, but a lot of these notes are really, really great. Oh, and guess what? So there's a, this guy from my old writer's group. He sold his script to Paramount. Dreams do come true. And Jamie is a soul-crushing bitch. Great, as long as that's not your total plan for Hell Rose 5. Hey, I can do this. Okay, God, should I get on my pom-poms and do a cheer? No. It's my first all day, I swear. God damn it, you have a drink. Chill a little. What did we talk about? That I'm drinking for two now. That's not funny. You make me anxious. Be sweet again. I'm sorry, okay? I will be. Just let me get some work done.
here. Come on. you and fuck your notes. I've been looking online. <laughs> Baby monitor. <laughs> yes, we won't need one of those. <gasps> Bonnet. Sit down, okay? We need to just, uh, we need to just stop for a minute, okay, and think about this. My, my hands are shaking, okay? I just, Is this how guys become absent dads or, or abusive? I'm scared, okay? We... What kind of life is this for the kids, huh? What, how are we gonna raise it seriously? If I can have a baby alone, I don't need you. How are you gonna even support it? How are you even gonna live? Oh, right, you know what? Fuck you! Just like your dad, he walked out on your mom, you're walking out on me! Stop, cat, please. We can't go through with it. We can't. Cat, please! Cat, stop! I'm never doing that again. Why don't you take your pills? Take them out. You know, it doesn't mean we couldn't try again someday. Just talk about
fucking take it. You know what? Take everything like you always fucking do, all right? Take your fucking key. Fucking asshole. What can I say? Matter decays, the universe ends. That's reality. Oh, I guess I should uh, clean this place up a little. I, uh, I went to a 12-step meeting after Kat left, just to check it out. And, uh, they said, um, if you can't help somebody without expecting something in return, you shouldn't do it. That's my relationship with women. It's helping them and expecting something in return. <laughs> Looking for you here on Facebook. I wish you would say hi and tell me how you are. Hey, you know the couple we used to watch with our binoculars? I see that the girlfriend has moved back in and they're having more of that nasty makeup sex. Bet you wish you could see that. L M A O. I have something to share. Oh my God, David wrote a real script. Oh, look, look, pages. Yeah, well, don't get too excited, all right? You guys are gonna hate it, so. Oh, hey, hey, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, no. seriously, because I like it. It's so great. We finally got a David script. And we have Dan. Oh, no, and Julia. That's, that's, yeah. not, that's not comedy. I'm not talking career suicide. I'm talking like suicide. 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 But what is it with the rat pack? The rat pack. Most of no, no. I mean, I don't fool anyone that he's not gay, man. We heard was so. Dan, good. you're up. Suicide pack buddy comedy. I don't believe suicide comedy's been done yet. Are you kidding what me? What about Harold and Maude? Yeah. No, no, no. Well, okay. I'm talking like double suicide. Well, that's it. Now, I honestly loved Kat, so I don't want this to sound mean, but my life is better without her. And it's not just because she was insane. It takes two to make a relationship crazy. Oh, 
something I wanted to show you. There's this theory that the universe doesn't just break up in the end, but there's actually a new universe growing inside of this one, and eventually it'll just push the old one out of the way. Creation constantly rewriting itself. I like that. is better without her. Hello? What happened? Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. No, 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 I'm gonna come to get you, all right? Just stay there. Yes, in my car. <laughs> Made it. Are you all right? I had a cell phone now, so that's cool. What's up, though? You said there was an emergency. You were in trouble. I got left here. Yeah, and? I need a ride. I didn't even know you were back. You know, my car broke down on the way here. I had to get a ride with, with some weird guy. He was some sort of like, he was like a faith healer and he put the car on cruise control and he tried to expel demons from my forehead. You know? Enough of this bullshit, okay? Seriously, why'd you call me? I'm back. Take me home. So who left you, huh? Was it your new boyfriend? Oh, David will take me back. He's a big pussy. Right, because I'm a big comfy vagina? I can't do this. Not again. You'll survive. You always do. Stay, all right? Stay right here and don't even think about following me. Go! Okay, you need some help? Go! You know how much I gave to you? Do you? No, no more. No more. Push me off.
can't let the apartment get so messy, all right? I, I can't write when it's messy. I'm just saying, people can change. You believe that, don't you? I bet you know 